Hey everyone, welcome to Ether 1. Great, great game. Uh, we're going to continue on from where we left off last time. And, uh, yeah, I think that's really all that there is to start off with. So let's go ahead and continue the game. Last time we left off, it was like, a uh, what had happened? Um, oh yeah, we went through those doors. I got I was flying everywhere. It was it was freaking me out. But all right, we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and get this started. Restorer, can you hear me? Oh, there you are. I'm sorry. What you've just experienced was a relapse of our patient's condition. Hopefully you didn't cause too much damage whilst inside. Now, the objective as stated is to locate Jean's artifact. At this present moment in time, we don't know what this item is. We need to gather information from important memories our client can still understand. Their core memories. Hello, Makeout Reef. How are you doing? <laughs> Wonderful name, man. Alright, we're going to go ahead and... Uh... I think we're going to yeah we're on pinwheel harbor all right so we're in a room let's check all these I forgot how to yeah here we go square okay okay Ooh, a can of tomatoes we're gonna take that just in case we get hungry Entry 110. I have been told by my doctor that keeping a journal about my workshop work will benefit will be beneficial for my treatment even at this early stage. In this morning's workshop, I painted for the first time in around five years. My doctor was indeed right. I felt incredibly relaxed as I sat there in that light and breezy room brush on paper. It reminded me of a long time ago when I used to paint professionally. I have struggled in remembering my most recent work, but I do remember that long ago I produced a painting that overlooked Pinwheel Harbor, tracing the coastline all the way to St. Paul's Lighthouse. A deep sense of inspiration was felt when this memory was rediscovered like an old photo album in the attic. Made me feel good again. Interesting. Alright, let's go outside. Nothing on here. Right. Let's try to make sense of all of this. Explore whatever you can. Yeah, can and you hear me? In contact with any new information. Can you not hear me, uh, make out reef? What's this? Did I take that? I didn't want that, but whatever. Oh, no. a, a memory fragment. fragment. Ooh. Good work. A ribbon. This must be Jean's representation of them within her mind. Smooth. Alright, uh. Let's see. Can I go up here? For a 69 year old lady, we got some good mobility. I guess I can't go up here. Okay then. Pinwheel May Day Festival. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's down here, shall we? Anything in here? Nope. Okay. Oh, let's go check out that bow house. I wonder how many fish they'll catch yesterday. Okay. Dang, I'm sorry. Yeah, Twitch has been acting up for me as well at certain times. It might have to do with maybe your quality settings. Maybe if you just lower it a bit. Well, you can't really lower it for me because I don't have a... I'm not a partner, so I don't have quality settings yet. But yeah, it's been laggy for me as well. 
Today's workshop didn't go very well. I attended a mosaic group as recommended by my doctor. As requested, I sat down and began to follow the instructions from the kind lady who was helping me. Yet as I sat in that room with people surrounding me, all having the same condition as I, I suddenly became aware of where I was and why I was there. Having never felt such an emotional sensation, I began to panic, panic to seize up with an overwhelming need to leave the group. I was a state. When I paint, I feel like I lose myself in the forms I create. My thoughts and problems no longer become apparent or relevant. Nothing else matters, especially new art forms. Interesting. Anything over here? What's this? Nothing. Okay. Okay. Can we go for a swim? I Ooh. Think the current's too strong. Mm. I like currents. What? What does that even mean? I like currents. How far out can I go? Oh God! What the heck? Okay. What? What is going on? Okay, I'm assuming I can't go over there. Alright. I guess it doesn't want me to go out too far or something. Oh, a door. Oh, wait, what's this over here? Can't check the window? Okay. Let's go inside. It can be like a blank canvas. Or a picture can be left incomplete for a generation. Only to be finished years later in life. Let's take that. The blacksmith was a vital part of the British town for a very long time. But with industries growing and taking over, they had to find other ways to survive and remain in trade. This particular smith became well known for his sculpting and other decorative metal work. Oh? But apparently he became a recluse after the I did that completely decline, by accident, I didn't even know. Destroyed all of his work. Oh, look at that! Fire! Fanatis tools are kept sharpened. Any memory can be etched in stone. Okay. What's this do? Okay, cool. Alright, it spins. So maybe if we find something that we need to spin, we'll put it there. The Bible. Dear Mr. Bell, although I'm, gra uh, although I'm grateful for the extra income, I'm slightly worried about the damage you've done to my floor whilst putting your cables under my workshop. The floor looks very heavy and I'm uh, very weak. And I'm nervous every time I have to carry something heavy over to it, over it. Anyway, I've made the repair cable you asked for. It's only a temporary fix, but it should do the job. We'll talk about the floor again soon. Interesting. Okay. Dear Aaron, my sleepless nights have now almost stopped. The rolling sound of the, bu the buoys out at sea helped me to drift off every night and Poppy sleeps soundly at the foot of my bed next to my tools. It has been difficult to continue blacksmithing in the same capacity as an old man. There are so many repairs that I need to do for the locals that I am just not quick enough to do it in time. Anyway, those Wainwright kids have been playing around the furnace again. They come down to watch the toy boat races on the river but like to take excursions to my workshop. I know you... What? And a posse neighbors with their parents, so could you ask them to have a word with their children for me? I just don't have the energy to chase them anymore. Alright then. Nothing in here? Nope. Nope. No. Nothing. Nothing of important. Ooh, what's this? Oh. A plug? Okay, we'll take that. Uh, let's go put it in the... Yeah, I keep forgetting we could do this. Let's just put this, like, right here. Just in case. Should have taken those tomatoes just in case I got hungry, but whatever. Alright, so that's the furnace thing that I think that note was talking about. Oh, what's this? There's nothing attached to the rope, though. Am I supposed to look at this somehow? Alright, we'll figure that out later, I guess. Let's go explore the rest of the town. Can I use this? No? Okay. This is the post office, then? Dang, it collapsed. The mine killed 23? Wow. Terrible accident occurred deeper than Brimliff, Brimcliff mine, killing 23. Could be heard as far away as Devlin. Expansion of the tunnels deep underneath the surface, what should have been a general and safe explosion, went terribly wrong. Dang. Severe cave in, trapping 23. The rock collapse extended to the seabed high ab up above, causing the chamber to flood and killing all who were inside. Dang. No safety precautions, though. Oh, what's this? 
Oh, I can go upstairs. I wonder if there's a switch to get that. Okay, we'll try that out. Because I, I'm pretty sure that's how I can get over there. Alright, we'll, we'll see. Oh, over here? Another note. Hi, Jan. All cashing up has been complete and the books have been filled out. I have replaced some of the stock on the shop floor with our reserves and have ensured that outgoing mail is ready for delivery. The parcel situation has not lessened. I know we hired Matthew as a temp to aid us, but I feel that the work is still not getting done, even after that chat you had with him last week. I heard from Doris Farrell that he had, uh, that he had, I just lost my place. Even after that chat that you had with him last week, I heard from that he had been in the crow's nest every night this week chatting up Elaine Gregson. Be brave if you ask me. I heard she was a bit of a tough one. I'll see you when I am home. Alright. If you guys can just give me a second. I'm going to test something here. Alright, alright. Okay. We're good to go. Just making sure that the stream is working fine for everyone. Oh, do I just keep pulling it up? How much higher? Oh, okay. Alright, so just twice, okay. Okay, we're good to go. Alright, let's see, uh... Smell. What? Oh, another ribbon or a memory fragment. Cool. I must say, I am impressed, Restora. You've done such wonderful work this evening. Just between you and I, there's a lot riding on this restoration. It's our last week of funding, and well, I haven't got any usable results. You're my last hope, and it's very important that I, <laughs> sorry, we succeed. Okay, interesting. I feel like there's something the going on more than just trying to help my memory. To that melody would never get old. Wait, was she talking about a... I'm hearing like some kind of strumming. Oh, it's just a bell, never mind. Stood in the center of the market, I can hear the potential for my new communication system. Imagine long distance conversations bringing everyone closer together, family, friends, and business. We all love to talk, to discuss ideas, and to hear loved ones' voices. Stood in the center of this market, I hear conversations. Susan Shorrock talks with Jan Hemingway about Matthew Lewis and his charming manner to the ladies. Dr. Foster commandeers his, in his doctoral manner to Howard Peterson that at his age, he really should quit smoking. George Thornton tells his daughter Jean that if she is really good today- Oh, that's me! If she is good today, he will buy her some sweets from the market. Conversation is king here and everywhere, and if my system can work, then it'd be king in the home connecting us all. A bell. Oh, um, what's the uh, what's his name? The the guy who uh, made the telephone. What's uh? Let me Google this telephone inventor. I feel like it's oh Alexander Graham Bell yeah all right that's pretty cool so we like we're okay so obviously way in the past and I'm assuming he lived in Jean's hometown which who we are right now okay that's that's actually quite interesting all right what is this I'm not gonna read every note out loud just cuz some of them may not be important Alright, oh, I forgot to go grab the thing that was in here. What is this? Okay, this should be important. Philip, I've just nipped out, but I shouldn't be too long. Can you please make sure that you keep an eye on the counter for me while I'm gone? Matthew's upstairs sorting through the parcel backlog that the bank holiday had caused. He told me it was taking him a bit longer to go through because of the weird and heavy equipment that Mr. Bell had been ordering from London. Apparently, the fella had ordered a whole load of stuff relating to buoys and church bells. A trifle strange, if you ask me, but each to their own. Okay. What was this? Andrew was the oldest brother, and the most okay. mischievous by far. Rob usually did whatever he was told, and Harry was... Oh, dang, I have to keep it in me? Okay. Andrew was the oldest brother, or with and the me. most mischievous by far. Rob usually did whatever he was told, and Harry was too young to argue back. D 
Did you ever hear the story of the knocker? Andrew asked in a sinister tone. No, let's hear the story. The knocker? His brothers replied, looking at Andrew skeptically. Yes, it lives in the mine past the dock. Legend has it that an old man went into the mine once, looking for his dog. And some strange crystal in there changed him. Changed him into what? Rob inquired, already far too interested for his own good. Andrew's face grew wide and animated. No one knows, because everyone who sees him dies. Dang. But apparently, he knocks on the wall with a Let's just sit here and listen to this. Hear it, let's, uh, let's admire the view. Get you. Then what happens? Asked Rob, nervously. Oh, that's it? Okay. Well, uh... Let's go ahead and go back and put that on the counter. There we go. Alright. And now, we shall continue. Okay, so where are we headed next? Uh, I can crouch down here. Is there anything down here? Hmm, nope. Alright, let's continue on. Uh, we already checked the bell house. Oh, wait, did we? Oh, no, I never went inside. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Well, here's a boat, and it's attached to a rope. I wonder if... Oh, another ribbon! You know, I am sorry about the fall, the relapse and all. Just remember, it's incredibly important that we trust each other. Don't worry too much about her brain. I'll be monitoring it on my end to ensure that no severe damage is caused during your visit. Okay. She's talking about me from like the past, like the past version of me. That's probably what she was talking about. Can I do anything to this boat? Can't turn this. Can't loosen this. I'm wondering if I can release the boat or something. Okay, whatever. I think that was it that I... Okay, yeah. There's the lighthouse. Oh, there are the buoys. Okay. Let's go see what the next houses have to offer. We've already been in here, right? Yeah, we have. Okay. Let's go check up here. I'm hearing a ribbon. Hang on a second. Is there one up here? A crow with an injured wing. Just lying there on the beach. I imagine this was almost a second home to most of the fishermen who lived here. Mm, there was a strong yeah, reading music. when you walked in. Gotta love it, There's man. a story to be told here. I think you better keep looking. There's a ribbon nearby. Can all staff please take note that the following customers are currently barred from the Crow's Nest pub? <laughs> Dang. Nah, that's nothing. What's this? Lock door when going to bed. I'm pretty sure that's not what that says. Oh, there's the ribbon. Okay. Oh, key. Did I ever tell you about an old colleague of mine who experimented with brain cell transplants? Taking them from one memory and surgically implanting them into another. An attempt to reconfigure their minds, he said. Fascinating stuff, really. Imagine what we could do with that level of scientific freedom. Now, why isn't this key working here? Alright, let's just put it over here then. Oh, what's this? Hey, thanks for locking up for me tonight. Don't forget to leave the key in the safe. So that way I can get into my room and I return. Combination is 1513. Is there a safe back there? No? No safe behind this? Behind this?
Hmm. Oh. All right, a projector. Pinwheel brew. Oh, is this a key for this? Let's go get that key. Oh, wow, I didn't grab it. Nope, not for that either. Hmm. Another door? Oh, that's just a toilet, though. I don't need to take a dump. I'm good. Alright, well, I, I don't know. What the? Uh, I have no idea what that would be, so... Let's just go ahead and explore the next the house. Talk. Okay. Let's go this way. Oh, another ribbon. Another one. You're that one's really locked. Doing a very good job, Restorer. This one's Although also closed. Mention, the board are going to be monitoring our progress tonight. So failure to retrieve the artifact is another one. not an option. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay, hang on. Let me put the key Please down. Please remain focused in there, Restorer. I can't stress to you how much I'm relying on you to succeed. I've been let down far too many times for four. Ah, and I won't forgetting to press for square first. What? Yes, I asked you half an hour ago. No, I want you to inject it now. The heck is she talking care. about? They have clearly stated the procedure's intention, so do as I ask. Damn. Sorry about that. Oh, look at that. I need to go and sort out an We're missing two more ribbons. Okay. I'll be back shortly. Dang. I can't tell whether our lady, the lady that's talking to us is nice or if she's mean. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, explore the next. Nothing in there. Well, I can go in here. Ooh, a radio. Let's turn that on. Why does this door get removed? A note. I found this old letter this morning while I was sorting through all your old things. I had completely forgotten that we had done this all those years ago. I don't know why I'm writing this. You are gone now and I have to accept that. I have to. I am 89 and can barely write properly. I am no use to anyone without you. Everything here has changed. No matter what happens, I will never forget your radiant face and even though part of the school was built over where we buried the capsule, I still remember the code. Your birthday, of course. 0911. I miss you so much. No, yeah, that's sad. I completely disagree. What? Disagree with what? That he misses her? Nope, you don't miss her. I disagree with you. Alright. Let's check the kitchen, shall we? Anything in the fridge? Nothing. Let's check up the... In the world? Oh, this looks creepy. Can't even hear the music up here. My dear Tom, of course I should help you with your time capsule. It's wonderful and romantic and exciting. I also feel that the love we have is written uh, that we have is different to all the other couples. Their arguments and squabbles showing that we must have something unique. I have never felt this way about anyone else in the world, and I wish we could be with each other all the time. Do you want to meet me this evening by the old oak tree down from the church and near the edge of the cliff? It will be a perfect place to bury the capsule. Bring the things you want to put in and a box to use. Love with all my heart, your juniper berry. So that's probably the letter he found that he was talking about in the other letter. Ooh, a telephone. Hey, how you holding up? I, uh, I, I got the message. You don't sound yourself when you're in there. I still can't shake this feeling that this, this whole thing is a bad idea. But I guess you need this. I don't know. What the heck? Is this a message left from the outside world? And here it's like Inception. How you holding up? I, uh, I, I got the message. You don't sound yourself when you're in there. No, that's it? Nothing else? Okay. I still can't shake this feeling that this, this whole thing is a bad idea. But I guess you need this. I don't know. Bathroom. 
prescription pills. Let's go take oh, that. Pencil. What? A pencil? I didn't find a pencil. What is she talking about? I didn't find a pencil. Man, the dementia must be getting worse or something because she's confusing items for something else. My love, I want to do something together that can last forever. Something that someone in the future can find one day and understand the feelings that we have for one another. I'm fed up with all the normal stuff that people do when they date. I feel like we are different, though our love is deeper, that our love is deeper than the rest in some way, something important. I thought that we could create a time capsule of all the things that we could be hold de that we hold dear for one another, from letters to treasured items. Bury it somewhere special, somewhere that will remi remain safe for hundreds of years to come. What do you think? Right back. Are these people in the same room or something? What the... There is a mattress missing, but okay. I wouldn't exactly say orange. What are you talking about? Utensils, utensils. I'll take the magnifying glass. Okay. What is this? I might not need this, but let's just take it anyway. I like to hoard. Okay. Nothing in here, nothing in here. No cabinets or anything? No? Okay. okay. I've already been in here, right? Yeah. A chest set. Alright, let's just go back outside. I couldn't go in either of these doors. Let's go in here. Ten people. A small wedding. But moving country means making a new life and new friends. Every town has its own May Day celebration. But many people traveled from around the British Isles for the annual Pinwheel Maypole Morris Dancing Competition. Such a beautiful English tradition. And a rare thing these days. What is this? Interesting. Okay. Let's take it. From our pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Can't close it. Okay, there we go. I think I have to place something there, but I'm not sure what. Simon Shorox, make sure you tidy and clean all the upstairs room. The spot list before we as we have Grandma Grandpa Joe coming. Georgina, clean all the pots in the kitchen. Off the floor, cooking tonight for a lot of people. Can you, Benjamin, sweep the hallway? Ensure all windows are open to let the house ventilate. We're staying in the master bedroom tonight together. I know it is cramped, but we will all have to make sacrifices. All right then. Wait, what? Wait, wait. What was that? Also, ensure that you let me know if anything missing from your equipment. I'll need to order anything through the post office soon. Oh, okay. Well, there's a mention of the post office, so maybe we have to do something with that. What's this? Don't place sugar in fridge. Uh, where's the kitchen? Okay, there's the fridge. Is there sugar in here? I can't even open it. What is this? Let's go put this card away. I keep crouching by accident. Alright, we'll take that. What is this? Pinwheel primary. Cool. Another pinwheel primary. A hat. Some tomatoes. Ooh, some tomatoes. I want that. Alright. And my laundry's done. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, let's go upstairs. A toy car. Oh, another projector. Alright, so every time I see a projector, that means there's a puzzle related to it in that area. What was this? Do you know where my Mayday equipment is? I can't find it anywhere. I always forget the actual names of the Mayday stuff. It's so old sounding. Alright, I need a hat, two bells, and a stick. Alright, well, I saw a hat. Oh, there's already a hat. There's a stick, but I need a bell. 
Okay, wait, let me remember something here. Oh, she said on the on the paper, she said um that if I need something I can order it from the post office. Molly? Somebody in here was getting They were having some fun. Alright, let's see. Uh okay. Well let's go ahead and head to the post office. Oh no. Oh no, nothing. Okay. The grumpy knocker. Related to this dot uh, this guy. There we go. Alright. Nothing in these drawers. There's never anything in the drawers. Okay, uh, I need to get to the post office. Why in the world would those posters be in there? But okay. Like, even within their own dream, they have to advertise that they're doing this. Like, I'm pretty sure... Can't really forget this. What's this? Oh! Okay. Can I do that? I needed a bell, didn't I? That looks like I need a stamp, actually. Let me think. Did we get anything that could work as a... Oh, wait. Does this work? Ho ho! I need one bell, don't I? Wait. Which room was it? This one, right? What did this say? Bell. What's the actual name? Baldrix. Okay. I forgot the L1 lets me see what names of things are. Let's try putting in Baldrix. The heck was that? Oh. <laughs> I was walking on this. Hey! All the invitations beautifully handwritten and sealed. Sweet. All right, let's head to the post office. Which was we down would be here. delighted if you could attend our special day. Please RSVP. Ho -ho! Let's hope everyone can make it. Dang, that was some fast instant delivery. Oh my god. Better than one day shipping. And I didn't even have to pay for anything. What kind of Amazing life is this? Alright. Hey, look at that! Alright, now we just need to place the bell. Every single invitation oh. applied to. Oh. And with the same answer. Oh my god! Yes. A ring. We've received an email today from the board of directors. It seems that I'm going to have to submit a report on my findings and treatment progress so far. That really is the last thing we need to worry about right now. Anyway, I used the engagement ring a couple hours ago, and my patient is still smiling from ear to ear. I really feel like there's a huge well of emotion trapped away inside, and if I can just find the right item to release it, this will all be of value. I think I may be able to use this patient as a case study. An example of how effective this treatment really is. Alright, cool. Uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna end this one here, guys. So thank you guys for watching. We're gonna continue with this tomorrow. This was the only amount of time that I had left to, that I could put into the stream. So, I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you guys for coming and watching. Those of you who tuned in, I appreciate it. Every bit of it. And I will see you all back here at the usual spot. Bye-bye, guys.